what is up everybody this is stock market education and today we're gonna take a look at plug power and see whether or not it's a buy let's get into it plug power is an engineering alternative to the energy sector focusing on the manufacturing of hydrogen and fuel cell systems and they have partnered with on-road vehicles like semi trucks and buses some people have been saying that plug power is losing money therefore you shouldn't invest however plug sees a different story saying that they're on track to become profitable projecting 250 million dollars of ebitda by 2024 how will plug power become profitable is it safe to invest in plug we're going to answer these questions but before we do please make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already it's amazing how much growth we've seen in recent weeks and i appreciate every single one of you with that being said let's take a look at some of the numbers when we take a look at the income statement we can see that the net income is decreasing however plug is massively reducing costs over the next five years with a 15 percent reduction in energy energy cost and a 50% reduction in stack cost while increasing efficiency for their products at the same time. Plug Power has a market cap of $12.9 million. Total revenue for Plug went from $85.9 million in 2016 all the way up to $307.5 million in 2020 for a percentage increase of 260%. And their gross profits went from $3.9 million in 2016 up to $12 million for a percentage increase of 206%. And their sales are expected to continue to grow by 35% in 2021. And that's mostly because of the forecasted demand for liquid hydrogen. And the liquid hydrogen demand is expected to 10x in 10 years which will pave the way for suppliers like Plug Power to be able to scale their factories and supply lines for hydrogen fuel cell systems. The thing that makes Plug Power's most compelling is their PEM technology gigafactory that will have an annual capacity of 1.5 gigawatt outputs, further proving that we are pretty much in the golden age of factories. You see Tesla coming out with new factories left and right, and you see Beyond Meat coming out with factories left and right. Over the next decade, the main component that will differentiate the innovative companies from the rest of the companies will be how well they vertically integrate their factories. And this Gigafactory expects to reach $1.2 billion in revenue by 2024. Total current assets went from $313.3 million in 2019 up to $778 million in 2020 for a percentage increase of 148%. When you compare it to their total current liabilities of $263 million, you can see that Plug Power is very liquid and healthy in this moment in time, along with almost half a billion dollars on their balance sheet. Their cash provided by their financing activity mostly comes from the proceeds from public offerings net of transaction costs with 344.3 million dollars of the 590 million dollars coming from public offerings which isn't bad because plug powers uses this financing to clean up their balance sheet for the time being and it just shows that plug is in the early stages of a company's life cycle once becoming public and they're shoveling money into research and development as they should be now that we've talked about some of the good things about plug let's go ahead and take a look at some of the not so good things about plug up until recently plug was a penny stock just trading at two dollars a share and it about 15 x in four years mostly in the past year because of the hype around electric vehicle sector that we saw in 2020 led by tesla and when the stock price runs up this much it usually means that you already missed out on the boat but not only that the ev markets in general have run up so much that they're almost in like a classic bubble territory and just from looking at the price chart it concerns me that's number one number two is insider trading within the company insiders inside the company are selling shares and they have sold 88.5 million dollars worth of stock just in the past three months alone which tells you that in the short term I don't think plug is very desirable however if you have a long-term outlook this company could have a lot of upside ahead of it 
Thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and have a great day. Bye.